What's up, guys? How y'all doing? Y'all gonna join me for a little ride while I'm going home? I just came out of the gym. But that's not what I want to talk about today. Today I want to talk about. Uh, you guys may know him. I don't know. This was just on my mind, and like it relates to like what even I'm doing. You know. I want to talk about uh, Bob Marley. So. A lot of you may not may not know Bob Marley. A lot of you may know Bob Marley. I'm pretty sure a lot of you know Bob Marley because he's what well, he was an inspiration to a lot of people. And because of that, they killed him. I'm not going to say who because you don't know what could happen to this video. But just do your research and just know just know he died because he was using his voice because and he was using his voice in, in his songs and he was sending messages through songs through his songs positive messages and these people don't like when when you be sending positive message to others because that goes into your subconscious mind and the subconscious mind is very powerful that's why they program us from from little kids to now using their our word subconscious mind that's why they put in cartoons i know i know you y'all have seen it they put like little stuff in cartoons and all that inappropriate stuff in cartoons that we see now but we didn't see it back then but the reason we see it now is because we remember it from our subconscious but we, we actually, the people that actually know, know what I'm talking about. Like, you know, stuff, you know, no conscious stuff and everything. No woke stuff, you know. They see that they put all these inappropriate things in cartoons to, to target the subconscious mind. Right? But I've been listening to Bob Marley. I started listening to, I didn't, I wasn't really a big fan of him. Until maybe like last year, I, I started really listening to him and listening to all the messages that he was putting in his music. You know, uh, my 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 dad, uh, my dad was always uh, always was a per is a person. He always listened to Bob Marley. He always listens to Bob. He always, he listens to it now. And I never really fucked with it, you know. But until like I actually like started listening to him and feeling and feeling out what he was really saying to the people you know not only that but the that the type of music he he makes is really like you have to be really tapped in with yourself to understand and feel what he's talking about his his music is like soul music it, it touches your soul and that's why he got eliminated because he didn't they didn't want him to touch people's soul he didn't they didn't want him to reach people's minds even though he did anyway and he's still doing it right now through death if you listen to him song for example songs like one love talks about how everybody ha must be united because love is the key so everybody must unite to form love strong enough to to overthrow anything strong enough to beat the people that don't care about love that don't care about one love you know that don't realize to to that don't realize that if all of us love each other there will be peace love is the key you know here in this in the physical life and in the astral life love and righteousness you know but Bob Marley I want I wanted to talk to about him because the fact that he used his voice and was reaching a lot of people that should that's what you should be doing you should be using your voice to reach people and inspire people and leave messages in people's minds so they so you could like 
so they could think for themselves and actually come to their senses, you know? Let's be honest, all Bob Marley wanted was peace and love. <laughs> Literally, that's it. He didn't care about wealth. He didn't care about all this material stuff. His wealth was life itself. His wealth was love and happiness. And that's what we should all be aiming aiming for, you know? Yeah, money, money is cool. Having money is, is all right and everything. But after, after this... That that shit does. That's not gonna do anything for you after after all this physical shit. It's not. All money brings is temporary temporary happiness. Cause then when you have no money, you're not happy. When you have no money, you're not happy. But when you have money, you're happy because you know you're able to buy stuff in the system that they put us in. You know damn well money did not exist back then. They created money. Money is man-made. And if I were you guys, I would detach from money. Because where, where, where we're going, there's not going to be no money. We're going back to nature. We have to go back to loving each other. So use your voice to inspire people. Like I'm doing now, I created this YouTube channel. I don't really care about the, about the about the views, the subscribers, and all that. I just want to get the messages out. I want to put the 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 seeds in people's minds. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I do care about views, but only because I care about how many people are are seeing the video. As long as I know I'm, because I like I like knowing I'm reaching a lot of people. So obviously I'm gonna care about the amount of views not in the not in the materialistic way that views equals money no i care about views in the, in the sense that i'm gonna be happy that a lot of people are watching me because they're gaining the message whether they watch me for a minute they, whether they watch me for two minutes three minutes four minutes there will always be some type of message in my words and that's what i want y'all to grasp Listen to Bob Marley. Nowadays, all we listen to is, is rap, thug music, fucking hoes, getting the getting the money, jewelry, like all that shit. All that shit's low key whack, bro. I wish none of that shit was here to begin with. I wish tw I wish fucking twerking never existed. I wish fucking money never existed all this shit destroyed humankind but watch those who are not in tune with themselves those who do not know themselves you're gonna see you gotta you gotta realize that we're going back to a time where none of that shit was here to begin with so if you're not in tune with nature, if you're not in tune with yourself, if you don't know who you are, you're going to be too scared to do anything. You're just going to follow the system. Damn, it's dark in here. In this road. You're just going to follow the system, to be honest. And you're going to depend on, on them until then, until, and then when they're not here anymore, when the system isn't here anymore, because that's where it's going to. When the system isn't here anymore, you're going to go into panic. I'm not fear mongering. I'm telling you what is coming. And that's why I wanted to talk to, about Bob Marley. They, they just they killed him because he was he was giving people positive messages. He was giving people the key to life. Imagine if he would, he would, nah, he wouldn't have been here right now because he, they had to end him. He was, he was too much of an inspiration. He was too much of a, of a speaker. His voice was too powerful. But that's all I wanted to say, man. Listen to Bob Marley. He'll help you out. Peace out.